We put them on every day and don't really give them much thought. We're talking about socks. However, today they were a gift full of heart and soul. They came in all shapes and sizes and a rainbow of colors. Socks for foster children handed over at the Haines Center in Dayton today by a pair of sisters from Centerville. It not only warms our feet, but it warms our hearts. It makes me feel really good knowing that um, some kids that don't have warm feet o over the winter are going, to, are going to because of our donations. Sisters Caitlin and Cassidy Tobin struggled to carry the heavy garbage bags overflowing with new pairs of socks. For most of us, a clean pair of socks is something we take for granted. But following Hurricane Katrina in 2005, Caitlin heard of so many people with nothing and was looking for a way to help folks in her own backyard. We watched a video at my school when I was in like the second grade and it really spoke to me about how these people were like affected by this huge hurricane and how these children had like nothing. So then I asked my mom if they were children like that in Dayton. She said, yeah, and I said, what are we going to do about it? And we came up with this and we figured, you know, everybody needs socks. Everybody should have warm feet in the winter. So in 2005, Caitlin set up TOES. It stands for Together Outfitting Everyone in Socks. It's now in its eighth year and with Caitlin's sister, Cassidy's help, the girls are able to collect on average about a thousand new pairs of socks a year. It's unique because it is grassroots work and they've been able to do that and keep it the momentum and grow it each year and we're really appreciative of that. Roger Loy tells us the small token of affection goes a long way to warm a child coming in with almost nothing. They may not have anything with them other than the items on their back. So it's always great to have new things that we can give them. Socks are a wonderful comfort. 